That's going back to the tried and true thing that always sounds good. But now, because I'm letting myself play chordal information with all these other notes, I'm not limited to that one thing anymore. I can play around that happily for hours and not feel like I'm repeating myself, because it's not lick-based. In other words, I'm just inventing this stuff based on my ability to find the notes on the guitar and have something rhythmic to say, you know, rhythmic and melodic to say. Okay, so this thing that I just wound up on, you know, our favorite minor 13 funk chord, um, just check out, like, if you're looking for ways to add to this or, or veer away from it, you know, um, in the context, like one way to do it is just to kind of take a piece of it and think of what notes are available in C Dorian, which is what this comes from, one, two, flat, three, four, five, six, flat, seven. What notes are around this in C Dorian that I could use too? Forget about whether it's the root, third, fifth, seventh. Forget all of that. Just think of the scale that's available. Like, check it out. Here, you know, we're in C. Here's an F. That's four, so that's cool. And there's G, right, the fifth. There's the root. There's the fifth there and a sixth there, right? We're in C. Um, four is here. Under it, there's like this flat three over here, E flat. Here's six again, two. There's a D there. So check all those notes kind of exist as colors around this thing that, you know, right now is telling us what chord we're playing. 